He is known for being a French mathematician who invented descriptive geometry and technical drawing. He is recognized for his contributions as the father of differential geometry. His name is Gaspard Monge. In the world of mathematics, one name stands out, Gaspard Monge, Comte de Poulouse. Hailing from France, he is often hailed as the inventor of descriptive geometry, technical drawing, and the father of differential geometry. But there is so much more to his story than just his mathematical contributions. Born in 1746, Monge's brilliance quickly became apparent. He dedicated his life to the study of mathematics and made groundbreaking discoveries that shaped the field. His invention of descriptive geometry revolutionized technical drawing, providing engineers and architects with a new way to visualize three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional plane. But Monge's impact extended beyond mathematics. During the French Revolution, he played a significant role as the Minister of the Marine, where he implemented reforms and helped shape the country's educational system. His efforts were instrumental in the establishment of the prestigious École Polytechnique, a renowned institution that continues to educate and inspire young minds to this day. Gaspard Monge's legacy as a mathematician, reformer, and visionary is one that continues to influence the world. His contributions to geometry and education have left an indelible mark on the scientific community, and his story serves as a reminder of the incredible power of human intellect and the importance of innovation in shaping our society. In his early years, Gaspard Monge faced numerous obstacles on his path to success. As a commoner, he was not allowed admission to the officer school, which exclusively admitted students from the aristocracy. Despite this setback, Monge's manual skills were highly regarded, but his mathematical talents went unrecognized. Undeterred, he dedicated his spare time to developing his ideas. During his time at the École Royale du Génie, Monge had the opportunity to collaborate with Charles Bosset, the professor of mathematics. However, Monge grew frustrated with the esteem his drawings received, feeling as if they were not valued as they should be. Nevertheless, he persevered and continued to work on his mathematical concepts. Monge's breakthrough came when he was asked to produce a plan for a fortification that optimized its defensive arrangement. While the established method involved lengthy calculations, Monge devised a revolutionary approach using drawings. Initially, his solution was met with skepticism due to its swift completion. However, upon closer examination, the value of his work became evident, and his exceptional abilities were finally recognized. In 1769, Monge took over Bosset's position at the École Royale du Génie, becoming the professor of mathematics. He further expanded his academic role in 1770 by also becoming an instructor in experimental physics. Monge's dedication and expertise in these fields led to his election as a member of the prestigious French Academy of Sciences in 1780, marking a significant milestone in his career. It was in 1777 that Monge married Catherine Huart, who owned a forge. This union sparked Monge's interest in metallurgy, a field he would later explore and contribute to significantly. His friendship with chemist C. L. Berthollet also blossomed during this time, further enriching his scientific network. Although Monge was urged by the minister to prepare a complete mathematics course, he declined, as it would have deprived Madame Bazal, the widow of A. Bazal, of her only income. Instead, Monge focused on writing and publishing his influential work, Trait Elementaire de la Statique, in 1786. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.